Hi everybody, good morning. Just wanted to share with you something that I created once again. Um, I don't know if anybody remembers what I made last year. I drew a very large sketch of a Victorian style boot. And from the sketch I had cut out some fabrics and laces and so on and created this really big stocking uh, for Christmas. So with that in mind, I decided to shrink it way down to a much smaller size, probably somewhere between 8 and 10 inches tall. Um, but I didn't make this stocking, um, this actual Victorian boot, a stocking. I just made it, I stuffed it, and I just made it more like an ornament. So um, I'm hoping that you can see that clear. My background is kind of messy, so I was trying to hide it a little with this cloth. So, um, yeah, um, what I did was, was I had cut out some, uh, muslin fabric, which in case some of you, uh, newbies out there don't really know what, um, uh, muslin fabric is, it's kind of like a lightweight cotton in a cream color. It's a very versatile fabric, you can it, basically use it for anything, and I like to use it when I'm sewing, uh, these types of things. So, um... Once I had done that, and I sewed the whole thing by hand because my uh, sewing machine is kind of packed away right now. Um, and um, once I sewed it, I stuffed it. And then when I got to the very top here, um, I added all of the lace on the front and on the back. And um, everything is just laid out so nicely, if you can see that. Um, the lace is absolutely stunning. This really pretty scalloped edges and I I didn't even leave that out I just um, laid this in so nicely it came out absolutely beautiful um, and you can see that there's um you don't see any of the seams or anything and um, it was so nicely sewn that I didn't even need to put any kind of trim here to kind of hide that so once I did that and I got to the top I sewed the top shut once it was stuffed and then I put this really pretty trim that I got from a local fabric store on top just to give it a little bit of a, a frill. Um, I wasn't going the red, white, and green type thing. I wanted to go more of like a Victorian style. And then when I was done, I made these really pretty um, fabric roses that I sewed. Uh, so those look really beautiful on the edge just for a little bit of a, of a touch, you know, me with the flowers. And then I had this really, really pretty um, tassel with a gold metallic braided ball on it. And this I got from M&J Trimming in Manhattan. It's in the garment district. They have amazing things, but this tassel has got to be at least 10 to 15 years old because at the time when I went shopping, I didn't go and buy one. I bought many, many, many of them, and I think I have one more left maybe like this, and I decided to use it. For this crafted item. And this is very pretty because um, uh, the actual holder for this was the top of the tassel. I didn't put any ribbon there or anything. So I can actually hang this, not necessarily on the tree, uh, but if I did, I could put, um, you know, one of those little metal things in here, the holders, and, you know, just hold it upright like that. <clears throat> or I can just leave it sitting on the side somewhere. Um, just and just display it um, in my craft room. I really love it. I love it so much I was actually making it to give away and then thought that Sometimes when I make I don't know about you guys uh, who makes things out there or anyone um, You know sometimes I really when I make something for the very first time I like to keep the very first one that I made which I have made these before I don't know if anybody remembers where um, I made these size out of burlap, and I went with the burlap um, and fabric, and the style was like purple, green, yellow, orange, and it was uh, two boots, one this one and one facing the other way, um, and they were sewed together, and those were for Halloween. They had a lot of like um, moss and... Um, some other things to look uh, really some twine and things like that look really fall and Halloween like so this is a one single one I'm, I'm gonna keep this one and I think I'm gonna make a couple of more of these they look really um, 
really nice in person. So I um, just wanted to share that with you and, you know, get your thoughts on it. If you'd like to comment, I appreciate it. Okay, so thanks so much for tuning in today and, and watching my video. Have a nice day.